Throughout life, we are faced with many struggles, heartaches, physical, emotional, and mental pains. Some of these pains stem from a lack of courageous men in our family's past, a lack of courage of our fathers, a lack of daily devotion to God, a lack of strength to lead our family and train a child according to biblical standards. This unwillingness to take on the duty that God has given men has left our generation to where it is today. Like father, like son, the next generation will have no incentive to rise up and to proclaim to the world that as far as me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It won't be until we as a future generation of communities, of states, our nation, and ultimately this world take a stand. We need to hold our ground. We need to profess the Christian values that this nation was founded upon. See, when one generation fails to lead their families and rise them according to God's word, there is no initiative for the next generation to do so. But in my generation, I want to see a rise, not only of young men, but also of young women. And even if they have been hurt in the past, that they won't use it as an excuse. They won't take a back seat and watch their family slip away from biblical principles. They won't fall into the way of the world. See, they wanna, we want men and women who will rise up in this generation as leaders who will proclaim their faith in Jesus Christ. Like Martin Luther King, we also should have a dream. And our dream should result in an uproar. In a revival, so to speak, that will serve in the proclamation, in the declaration of Jesus Christ. A dream that would include young men and young women who will not only shape their homes, but that will shape their nations. See, Joshua commanded the officers of Israel to go throughout the camp and tell the people to get their provisions ready. To take possession of the land that God had given. And just like Joshua, we need godly men and women that will take a stand, that will command our generation to go into the land that God has given us. See, our Creator, our Savior, our mighty God has given us this land. Therefore, there is no reason for us to be afraid, not the world or the evil that is in it. God said 365 times in His Word, do not be afraid. And after the 365th time, He meant it. So we need young men and young women of our generation that will go into the world. They'll be courageous leaders. They'll be status quo changers. They'll be men and women of the faith, unashamed of the name of Jesus. We need men and women who will go into the world. They will profess the name of Christ by practicing and preaching the gospel. They'll be unashamed of what the world may think of us. See, we need both generation of godly men and women will be courageous enough that they will lead their families. So whatever, 